you know, I've done a lot of videos on testosterone and I've emphasized a lot of things that can lower your testosterone. But in some recent research that I've been diving into, sleep is a huge underemphasized factor in your testosterone levels. I want to talk about that today. Now, before I get into the subject of sleep, I want to just touch on some of the other things that can dramatically lower your testosterone as well, because you need to know all of them, because what may affect one person may not affect everyone, okay? So the first thing you need to know is that as you age, testosterone does go down. However, it's not the major reason why someone has low testosterone. So let's first talk about obesity. If you are overweight, that can affect your testosterone. Why? Because your fat cells make this enzyme called aromatase. And aromatase turns your testosterone into estrogen. So the more fat you have on your body, the more estrogen you're going to have. And there's this relationship between testosterone and estrogen in that when one goes up like estrogen, the other one goes down. All right. So the more fat you have in your body, the more estrogen you're going to have. Now, there's a couple other things that will increase your estrogen too. Consuming a lot of soy products. Okay. That's one thing. Also plastics. I've done a video on this and an average person consumes about a credit card amount of plastic every single week. That's a lot of plastic to be put in our body. So, you know, we get plastic from drinking out of plastic bottles, uh, cooking in plastic. Plastic is just all over the place and that can increase our estrogen as well. Now, the other big killer of testosterone is having high insulin levels. Now you might think that you have to be a diabetic to have high insulin levels, but that's not true. Um, you could be a pre-diabetic or you can have insulin resistance, which I think the majority of the population has. And that could be the reason why you have low testosterone because you have high levels of insulin. See, insulin is rarely tested. Normally they check blood sugars, but they don't look at insulin. There's a really good test to measure something called insulin resistance. And that's called HOMA IR. That'll give you a lot of good information on whether you have insulin resistance and at the same time, high insulin. So high insulin, low testosterone. Now that relates to the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is your liver. The liver makes something called SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin. Now that's an interesting word. That is a compound that binds to testosterone and prevents it from being a free testosterone that can go through the body. So it's something your body makes to buffer and hold testosterone in an inactive form. In fact, the great majority, like 99% of your testosterone is locked up to this protein and other proteins. So really you only have like 1% of all your testosterone in a free state that's available for you to use. 99% of it is in a bound or locked up state. So the more that you have of this binding protein, the less testosterone you're gonna have. And so if there's any problem with the liver, as in a fatty liver, or it's inflamed, or it's toxic, it can affect this part of this puzzle. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is your adrenals, okay? The more adrenal stress you have, the more cortisol you have, the less testosterone you're gonna have because stress or cortisol inhibits testosterone. And as you age, your adrenals kind of go downhill where you don't produce enough of the raw material to make these adrenal hormones because testosterone is also one of the hormones that your adrenals make. And one of the precursor hormones that help you make testosterone is called DHEA. So if you're deficient in that, that raw material, that could be one reason why you don't have enough testosterone. And this probably mainly relates to the aging process. So that is just one little side note, something maybe you could take as a supplement if you've tried all these other factors and it's still not working. And this can relate to both men and women. If women take too much of it, they can get too much testosterone. If they take just a small amount of it, they can increase the um, estrogen and progesterone. So I just wanted to make that side note. The other um, raw material that is needed to make testosterone is cholesterol. So if you're on a low fat diet or you are on statin drugs, that could be the reason that your testosterone is low. 
Another factor is iron. If you have a condition where you have too much iron in the body, that can negatively affect your testosterone. How do you know if you have too much iron? Well, you can get a blood test. Um, also, if you consume red meat and feel worse, or you take an iron supplement and you feel worse, that could be another clue. The other factor in testosterone is something called hypogonadism, where the testicles are atrophying or shrinking, okay? And one of the causes for that is aging. Another cause for that is a zinc deficiency. Out of all the nutrients for testosterone, uh, zinc is probably the most important one. And so you'd want to start eating foods high in zinc, and that would be shellfish like oysters, or even take a zinc supplement. And if you wanted a good zinc supplement in a blend of trace minerals, I put that link down below. All right, another factor with testosterone is alcohol. The more alcohol you have, the more estrogen you're gonna have, the less testosterone you're gonna have, especially when you drink beer, but all alcohol will create this effect. All right, now the topic of sleep. Sleep is vitally, vitally important. In fact, um, the research that I'm, I went through, which I'm gonna put a link down below, uh, demonstrates that the less sleep that you have, the less testosterone you're gonna have because the way that your body controls and manages testosterone are through circadian waves. And this means there's a crossover between your sleep, especially the REM sleep, okay? That's the second half of sleep and the generation of testosterone. In fact, you generate more testosterone, the more REM sleep you have. So if you're only getting five hours of sleep or less, or even six hours or less, uh, that could be the big reason why your testosterone is low. So all the supplements, all the zinc, all the things that you do, including testosterone replacement, are for nothing if your sleep isn't good. So your testosterone correlates with your sleep. Um, in one study, it shows that if you can get eight hours or more, you're gonna have very good testosterone levels. Also, a lack of sleep increases cortisol. Okay, that's a stress hormone. Cortisol directly will decrease testosterone and cortisol also increases insulin, which will lower testosterone. So a lack of sleep or a crappy sleep can just destroy testosterone from so many different angles. So here's what I recommend you do. Number one, to help your sleep, more exercise, or better yet, physical work. It can also directly stimulate testosterone and improve your sleep at the same time. And exercise improves insulin resistance. And exercise can help make you thinner, less fat in your body and exercise can help improve your liver. All right, number two, get off the carbs. Carbs increase the insulin. Carbs put you in a sympathetic dominant mode, okay, which can decrease testosterone because testosterone works in a parasympathetic mode that doesn't work that well when you're under stress. And so a low carb diet will help pull you out of this sympathetic dominance mode as well as handle the insulin uh, part of this puzzle. And also a low carb diet will greatly improve your liver and help uh, liver function and decrease the fat on your liver as well. Number three, improve your sleep with improving the gut microbiome. I recently did a video on drinking kefir um, before bed or at the last meal of the day. Okay, a really good kefir gives you good strains of both friendly bacteria and friendly yeast. So fixing the gut biome is a very, very important action for sleep, okay, which will then improve your testosterone. And you can even take a probiotic, but the gut is a very important factor in sleeping better. And then this, as far as sleep nutrients go, um, vitamin B1 from nutritional yeast, that's vital. Uh, potassium and magnesium are two physiological uh, relaxers that are in vegetables, salads, uh, or you can get it in electrolyte powder to help you sleep. You don't want to take the electrolyte power before you go to bed, but during the day it can help calm you down and keep you in a relaxed mode. And then vitamin D before bed is a really good action because vitamin D greatly affects the circadian rhythms of the body. And of course, I'm going to also recommend my own sleep aid before bed. I would take two. And then if you wake up in the middle of the night, okay, 
Take one to help you get back to sleep, to extend your sleep for that eight hours to maximize or optimize your sleep to improve testosterone. Now I have some additional information on sleep that's a must. I put that video up right here, check it out.